Okay, so welcome back. In the last video, we just gave a brief intro to probability and kind of an overview, and now we're gonna jump straight into the basics of it, all right? So first, we're just gonna go through some easy definitions. So probability itself, what does it mean? Uh, if someone asks, what's the probability of this happening? It's just, they're just asking how likely it is that something will happen, okay? So how likely? Um, also, we have to look at two words, event and outcome, uh, that are gonna be used quite a lot. So an event, is basically just something that happens. It's as simple as that. So uh, an example of an event would be, say, flipping a coin. So something that happens, and then as an example, I'll just write coin toss. The outcome then is basically the result of that thing. So um, for the example here, or coin toss, uh, the result or like the outcome, the result will be either a heads or a tails. Okay, so if you hear event or outcome, just think something that will happen and then the result of that thing. Okay, so we can talk about how likely something uh, is gonna happen, like kind of likely, really likely, but it's much better to put numbers on it. So probability, I'm just gonna scribble it here. So probability, it goes from zero to one, okay? So we put a scale here, this in the middle, where this is zero, it means it will never happen and then one here which means it will definitely happen okay so if something has a probability of zero it cannot happen if something has a probability of one it definitely will happen and anything in between it's either getting more likely or it's getting less likely so anywhere in between so i'm just going to write this as 0 0.5 a half and 50 percent so those are the three ways that we generally write probability we either write them as a decimal, decimal as a fraction or as a percentage. And uh, which one you do, it really depends on the situation. So sometimes it's easier to use decimal, sometimes fraction, sometimes percentage. So we'll look at that. So uh, and this would be 100% in percentage and then 0%. It's just different ways of showing it. All right, so that's kind of how the probability scale works. So down here, not that likely up here very likely that something will happen and we're gonna look at some examples and it should make more sense then okay so we're gonna look at a brief formula just for probability so I'm gonna say prob which is just stands for probability is equal to um, the number of outcomes number of outcomes is just result and then I'm gonna say we want divided by the number of possible outcomes. Number of possible outcomes. And this may, might not make that much sense right now, but once we do some examples, you see this um, formula is actually quite easy. So it's kind of weird that it's written out in sentences, but once you see what we mean, uh, you won't need to learn the sentences off or anything, it'll just make sense. So we're gonna look at two examples in this video just to explain uh, this probability here and this formula. So it's gonna say example one. Okay, we're gonna start nice and easy and it's going to be with a coin toss again, okay? So for when you're flipping a coin, the number of possible outcomes, so I'm gonna say number of possible outcomes. So flipping a coin, it can either be heads or tails. That means the number of possible outcomes is equal to two, yeah? I'm just gonna write heads or tails oh I don't know why I did that just correct that and put that in brackets so heads or tails all right so if someone asks us I'll go red why not what is the P of heads okay and then that notation there so P and then bracket of heads means what's the probability of heads uh, we're gonna use this formula here it's the number of outcomes that we want okay in this case the outcome we want is a head so a heads from the coin toss so I'm gonna say one because that, there's only one outcome where we get heads, and that's, I guess, when the, the coin lands on heads. It seems a little bit silly now, but it makes more sense, I guess, with a different example. We'll look at that next. And then the number of possible outcomes is equal to two. So the probability of getting a heads is half, okay? And then the same with tails. So again, you might already know this just because flipping a coin is kind of an easy example, but it's just to start with a very basic example, and then we'll move on to a little harder one next. P of tails, again, the number of outcomes we want. We want tails. There's only one possible outcomes that we get tails. So one on the top, number of possible outcomes is equal to two, so two on the bottom, all right? And then the last check we can do to make sure that we kind of we know we're right, 
is that all of the possible, and this is important actually, I'm gonna write a little note about this. So yeah, I just scribbled it out in green there. Uh, it's a really important point that all the probabilities have to add up to one. Okay, so in this case, the two possible outcomes are either heads or tails, and both of those have a probability of a half. So if you add all the probabilities, half plus half, you're gonna get one, and that means we're right. Okay, so they're the two possible outcomes. So again, this might seem a little bit silly when you just have two outcomes, like heads and tails, but in the next example, we can use this to check that we're also right, all right? So in this next example, we're going to look at uh, rolling a dice, which again, coin toss and rolling a dice are gonna be really, really common examples. You're gonna see them a lot in uh, questions that come up, just because they're kind of easy examples. So I'm just gonna draw a line here. I'm gonna say example two, okay? So when you roll a dice, there are six sides to a dice, and they're numbered one, two, three, four, five, and six. So the probability, or so I'll say the, first I'm gonna say the possible outcomes. There are six possible outcomes, okay? So six possible, and each one of those is one, two, three, four, five and six you can get any of these numbers all right and um, the probability of each one of those is exactly the same so probability is one over six one over six one over six etc 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 okay so those are kind of easy examples we're not going to go into just getting the probability of each one because it's the same answer every time it's just one over six make sure those things look like sixes there and then um but the probability of different things can be a little bit harder so Again, not too hard, but this is just a, a basic example to get us started. So for example, the probability of even, okay? And remember, the formula is, so I'm gonna say hashtag, which means the number of, uh, so number of outcomes we want over number of possible outcomes, okay? So you know the number, number, of, the number of possible outcomes is six, and we need to find uh, what's the number of outcomes we want. So for an even number, it has to be either, I'll just switch to white, it has to be either two, four, or six. So they're all the even numbers here from uh, what we get on the dice. So that means there are three possible, or three outcomes that we want. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more and keep the red. So that means that P of even is equal to three over six, which is equal to a half, okay? And by the same uh, logic, we can also find that the probability of getting an odd number is a half. Okay, and we're gonna do one last example then. Uh, I'll go dark blue and scroll down. So we're gonna say P of less than five. Okay, so we know the number of possible outcomes is six. So number of possible is six. The number that we want, okay, so the number of outcomes that we want. So less than six, if I go back up, or less than five, sorry, if we go back up to our example, numbers that are less than five is gonna be one, two, three, and four. So there are four possible um, outcomes that are less than five. One, two, three, and four. The number of outcomes we want is equal to four. So I'll swap to white just for the last bit. Uh, and remember the formula is equal to, P is equal to number that we want. So it's getting a little bit small, over number of possible. Yeah, and again, that's just a little kind of shorthand. Uh, if we go over to the purple here, it's a little bit uh, more clear. The probability is the number of outcomes we want divided by the number of possible outcomes. Okay, that's in the purple. And that's sort of what I've written in the white there, just a little bit shorter. So this is the last question, we're almost done. Um, so again, then P of less than five is gonna be equal to four over six or two over three. And again, this is much easier to write, much easier to write in fractions. This is the answer, two over three, but that's easier than writing 0 0.667 or 66.7%. So this is an example where we'd use fractions. But hopefully that kind of um, gives you guys a solid base just of how to do general probability questions and just the kind of background theory behind it. So some uh, definitions uh, probably goes from zero to one. You can write as a decimal, a fraction, a percentage and then this formula here that you can use. So that's an overview of kind of just basic probability. Hope the video helped. And in the next video, we're going to look at uh, cards and buttons, okay? So there are just other examples, sort of like dice and um, coin tosses that are gonna come up a lot. So hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next video.